Hi everybody, this is Liz from Creative Life of Liz and this week I'm using a kit called Airplanes from my shop. Uh, this kit I designed because it's my husband's birthday on Monday and he just absolutely loves airplanes. So I actually pulled just uh, the first page of my kit plus the bottom of page two and the top of page three to get a mini kit that has all the pieces I want. So I'm just going in now and putting in the bottom washi. Uh, you can see spots where I cut it badly and I just use scissors to help. I just use a slice tool to cut. Um, so I'm just putting a little white out over the top and then going in with the date covers as well. I didn't print out the, the page that has the date dots, so I'm just going to hand write in the dates, which is totally fine with me. So you can see me doing that here. Um, next up, I'm going to use these like white glitter headers and just put those down at the top of every page. Day, sorry. Um, I'm now trying to pick which full box for the sidebar, and then I follow that up with a half box. I'm going to use that to make my own habit tracker because I didn't print the habit tracker pages. I'm now flipping through a ton of different books. This is the American Crafts book. I don't know which set it is. Uh, these are some Happy Planner sets. That one's from the dollar store. Some more Happy Planner stuff. I'm just trying to find a quote box to put on the sidebar because I know that I don't have that much stuff that I'm going to need. Um, but I'm really struggling. I'm also trying to find uh, some sort of um, checklist, some sort of full box checklist kind of thing. Um, so that I can just put in my standard to-do list on the sidebar as well. I finally find this one from Planner One Love. It's just like uh, clouds and it goes perfectly. And then this is a quote from American Crafts that I put down first. Um, and then I just put in a couple headers just to fill in the space. Sorry, my computer just went off. Uh, now you can see I'm just making my own habit tracker that way. Uh, moving on to Monday, I want to start out by marking that it's my husband's birthday. Um, he wasn't that excited about it, but I was definitely excited about it. Um, so I'm trying to find some stickers just so I can decide how I want to mark this. Uh, so this is a happy planner set. I used it last week for my mom's birthday. I'm going to use it again this week uh, for my husband's birthday. So I'm just trying to find something to put in here um, that kind of, you know, celebrates his birthday. So I end up going with this black and gold heart. I think it goes really well with the kit. And I just put that down in the middle. Um, and then I'm just filling in that it's his birthday. So I just say happy birthday Dave on there And then I'm putting a couple of hearts on the two sides just to kind of fill in the rest of that box And I'm just drawing those in uh, So then I have to go back and start doing the rest of my day So I'm trying to pull in all my half boxes and quarter boxes so that I know what I have um, And I pull this quarter box if I can manage to get it. Um, I pulled this one out um, it has like the little wings like pilots wear on it, which I thought was really cute. Um, and I just needed to mark that I was filming and editing my plan with me and I posted it. That was from the previous week, so the 1st through the 7th of October. It's a little bit crooked now that I look at it, but I'm just going to go with it. It'll be totally fine. Uh, so then I need a header um, to cover up that purple part. So I just put down a header. This one, it looks like the sky. Uh, and then I follow that with another quarter box. Um, I don't remember what I mark here. Oh, I had, an, I had a career services appointment. So I marked that here. And then another quarter box um, to say that I had a faculty meeting to attend. And then I'm trying to figure out what I want to add next. Um, I had a bunch of things going on during the day. I use a bullet journal for my daily planning. So I'm just trying to figure out what's in there as well. So I'm going to put down this half box, but first I want to put down the glitter header. This one's a silver glitter header. So I'm just putting that one in, trying to make all the spacing work um, and make sure that everything's straight, which is debatable, but close enough. Um, and I'm just marking down we went to Soul House and then Phillips uh, European to get some cake for my husband's birthday. Um, and then I need a full box, and I just really liked this one. Also, red is, and orange are his favorite colors, so I thought that this one went really well with the sunset on it. Uh, next up, I'm moving to Tuesday. So now I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing all over again. You can see I'm like awkward twitching while I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Um, so I'm pulling back out some more boxes. I end up going with a full checklist just because I had like a crazy day with a lot of tasks. And I just start marking in a bunch of various like tasks. These are all work-related things pretty much. Um, 
I just needed to write some minutes, I needed to send a bunch of emails. So I'm just filling all of these things in uh, so that I can remember all the things that I did that I actually cared about during the day. Um, I had some paperwork and training to do. And then um, my final emails, bunch of email categories. Uh, so then I'm putting in another header. This one I use as a glitter header. Um, and I'm going to put in another full box. So I'm trying to decide which one to use. I have two of these like planes from bottom view. So I pick this one to go on this side. And then I marked down that I exercised on Tuesday. I signed up for a free trial of Daily Burn. So I'm just testing it out, seeing how it's going. Uh, so I put down a quarter box to mark that. I just pulled some strips out of the way. And then I'm putting down the other header just so that I can cover up the header that comes in the planner. Um, and then I'm also putting down a half box so to fill in the rest of the space for my various tasks. So I just marked that I did a daily burn workout. And then I'm marking down here at the bottom that we made peanut butter cup ice cream, which was amazing. Uh, we got an ice cream maker for our wedding a few months ago, and we finally got around to freezing it. And now we can actually make ice cream, so we made peanut butter cup ice cream. Uh, now I'm going to put a full box at the top of Wednesday. I think this one's my favorite full box with the paper airplane inside an actual airplane. I just think that's so cute. I followed that with one of the sky headers. I'm kind of alternating headers um, in these two bottom rows, as you can see as we keep going. And then I'm looking around for my boxes. For only having four pages, I lose boxes surprisingly often. I'm not really sure why that is. Uh, so I put down another one of these checklists. And then I'm just marking a bunch of tasks. These are similar to the things that I had to deal with on Tuesday, but now it's another day. So I needed to deal with my car title because I need it updated um, since I had the lien removed. And then I had a bunch of scheduling I needed to do. I posted my midweek on Instagram. Um, so I just kind of posted all of those kind of things. I feel like I'm saying so a lot today. I'm so sorry about that. Oh no, doing it again. All right, glitter header goes down and then I'm figuring out what I want to put down for the things that I did after work. So the evening kind of things. I'm finding some boxes. I like this quarter box. I think this color is gorgeous. Uh, and it has a cute little airplane, which I really enjoy. And then I'm also putting down a half box uh, with, a, with a little airplane. It kind of looks like a United airplane. I usually don't fly United. Uh, definitely not mine and my husband's preference. But we will make it work. So then I'm trying to find a label, because, like a little things label for meals because it, a quarter box just isn't going to fit. And also I wanted to use some of these meal little things that I had. So I'm marking in. I did another daily burn workout. Thank goodness I'm working on it. Uh, then we went out for sushi, followed by some bubble teas. And I just put in a heart in there just because I really liked it. And then we went to Costco at the end of the day to get some grocery shopping done. So moving on to Thursday. I'm now trying to puzzle through all the things I have again. I really struggled with this one for some reason. I'm sorry about that. Uh, so I put in a quarter box. This one has one of the cute airplanes again. I like the airplane icons. I think they're really adorable and they definitely spruce up the quarter boxes and the half boxes. So I'm putting that down followed by a half box. And I'm just trying to figure out what I needed to put into those. I don't have my planner on me. And then I'm following it by another quarter box, which is covering up the header there, which is totally fine with me. And so I'm just filling in some of the things that I had to do. So I had a doctor's appointment. Uh, then I had a teaching workshop. And then I had a bunch of meetings with students. So I'm filling those things in. Pretty much my whole Thursday at work was covered with meetings. I'm trying to remember which header I'd used previously so this time I am filling in with the glitter header this one is lower than the other ones but I'm okay with that especially because it's Thursday so it's the center of the week anyway putting in a full box this is a view of the wing which I really like and then I'm following it with the sky header which I struggled to put down I tore the paper a little but it was just a really thin layer and I can cover that up with another sticker on Friday And then I found a quarter box, but I didn't like the color choice that I made. So I decided to try again and I put in a half box instead uh, because I just liked it. And this is like an airport on the deco of that half box, which I really enjoy. 
and then I put a quarter box in at the bottom. So this was the first day of the planner collaborative sale, which was amazing. I bought some things, so I had to mark that, and then I had to pick up a new prescription, so I put that at the end of the day. Moving on to Friday, I decided to put the full box first. This is the other plain one from the bottom. I think this one is really beautiful and I like how saturated the color is. Then I put down the sky header to cover it and you can see that this one's now lined up back with where they usually are. So I don't really care that Thursday is misaligned, as I said. So now I'm putting down another half box. This is going to be for the Ultimate Planners sale, um, so I did shopping for that one. So comment below and tell me what you guys purchase in these sales because I'm sure many of you purchase things as well. So I'm just tearing a little bit of paper off that from where I tore it when I tried to pick up the header on Thursday. I should really just stop doing that. So then I put in a quarter box um, to mark that I did some cross stitching. I'm trying to make a few cross stitch projects for gifts for the holidays. So I've been trying to work on them, especially in the evenings when my husband and I tend to watch TV after we have gotten everything else done for the day. So I'm putting in the glitter header and covering most of it with a quarter box. You can see a little bit out of the bottom. And this was for my interview prep. I have an interview next week, uh, which is now this week when I'm recording it. So I just needed to start doing some prep for that. And then I'm putting in another half box where I'm marking that I did the dishes and I also spot botted the house. Uh, that's like a little... Uh, carpet cleaner that you can use. I have cats that make a mess, so I was just putting that in. And then I'm putting in two little things to mark our activities. So we went to Qingdao, which is a Chinese restaurant, and then we got bubble tea again. So I was just marking those in. And then I'm moving on to the weekend. So I started out with the weekend banner, placing that down first. I'm just like holding my pen the whole time. Thank goodness I didn't draw on anything while I was doing this. So then I found one of the rounded off uh, quarter boxes to put in next. And I'm just marking there that we did a bunch of tidying slash cleaning of our downstairs part of our house. Then I'm trying to figure out which box I want to use next. I'm trying to use a lot of these with the icons in them because they're just so cute. And they're also less versatile, I feel like, but I really enjoy them, so I don't really care. Then I put in another quarter box. I don't remember what I wrote here. I will see in a second. Being left-handed means I cover up what I'm writing all the time. So I worked on cross-stitch and also crocheting that day. Put down the glitter header, again lining it up with where it's actually supposed to be. And I'm putting in a full box. This is a view of part of the cockpit. So this is what the pilots would see. Uh, we enjoy watching those kind of videos of what is actually going on inside the cockpit. So I thought this was a good one to include. Followed that with the sky header. I really like those. They're very like cheerful and they fit with the theme well, but they're not overwhelming. I'm then putting in a half box. This one has a runway on it or like a schematic of a runway. Uh, we spent a lot of time going furniture shopping. We didn't end up buying anything, but we're trying to find a few pieces for the house. So we did a lot of shopping and hopefully we can make some decisions. And then put in a quarter box because uh, we went to Joann's. I bought some yarn. It was on a really good sale and I want to start crocheting a new afghan once I finish all my Christmas projects. And then I'm trying to pull up another little thing. I have to pull the little extra pieces of paper off as I'm going because sometimes I'm bad at cutting and I just kind of stuff them on the edge of my, my table, which is fine. Uh, so I'm just putting in that little thing. We went to Tokyo for sushi again. Uh, we sat at the sushi bar, which was amazing. All right, so now I'm like doing Sunday the next day. This is now Monday. Um, that I'm filling in Sunday. That's why we kind of jump here. So I had to resituate everything and now I'm pulling stuff out. So I have a quarter box on here. I had to do some couponing. I tried to go through all the coupons every week and figure out what we want to use and what new we have, etc. I then pull in a half box, which I'm just trying to carefully pull out and set that down. Um, and that one is for... Uh, we went to Costco and Wegmans, just did some grocery shopping. I just skipped the header that should be going there. There should be a sky header in that spot, but I just totally skipped it because I covered it up with the half box. 
So then I am cutting off the spot where I was terrible at cutting with my slice tool on this little thing. It's another one of the meal ones because we went out to eat again yesterday to Yummy Garden, which is a hot pot place, and it was really good. Uh, we're trying to eat healthier, so we tried to at least order healthy things in there. Uh, then I put in a little heart, a uh, little thing to just say that I stretched. Um, our curling season starts on Tuesday, which is tomorrow, and so needed to work on that. Uh, then I crocheted some more. I'm working on my project. Hopefully it'll be done this coming week sometime. I then pull in another one of the rounded off quarter boxes. And I am just filling in that we YouTube binged until way later than we probably should have. And then I'm pulling in the glitter header. So you can see I have that one sky header left over, but whatever. And I'm filling in the full box there. And that finishes my week. So now I'm trying to move all the stuff out of the way and fill in the sidebar. So I exercised on Sunday, um, did some research, teaching, so on. Uh, my exercise tracker only counts when I do exercise outside of my steps. I'm trying to get 10,000 steps every day regardless, so I included that. And then I just put at the bottom that I received a teaching award this week, so I didn't fill that in. It's not really a checkbox, but I just included it there anyway. And then I have these extra washi strips if you want it to be wider at the bottom washi. And I'm just putting it over the, over the top to cover up some of the spots where you can see a little bit of the whiteout when I had to white out the dates. So I'm just filling those in on both sides. They're the right length because I built them to go on the bottom. So obviously they fit on the top as well. And I actually like the color. I think it fits in pretty well. So I don't have that much left. As you can see, two almost blank sheets. And then that one is still pretty full, but I'll use that for another item. So I'm pulling out some calligraphy pens. They're not exactly the right pens to use, but I had it handy. And uh, this is totally cut off, but I am just covering up where it says October 2018. I'm just covering that up with a black version of saying October 2018, just because it really annoys me that it's purple, which does not go with this theme at all. If it goes, I usually just leave it and that's totally fine, but this does not coordinate. So I'm just trying to cover that up right now. Um, so I'm doing that and then putting that pen away. 